The pork has been marinated for about 24 hours. As you can see, it's completely in the juice. I'm going to put it in the oven, but before I do that, I'm just going to lightly salt the skin so you will come very crispy. And pepper. This will take about two hours and I will flip like that through halfway through cooking so to make sure that both sides are evenly cooked and this um, some of the remaining pork went into um, the dog's dinner so that's nicely cooking as well yeah this is literally the dog's dinner I'm <laughs> going to put that <laughs> in the oven I put in cold because it's just come out of the fridge, so I don't want to put in a piping hot oven. 180 for about one hour to start with, and I'll just flip it and to do a further hour afterwards. I'll show you the result. One hour is up. As you can see, it's been cooked beautifully. The sauce has been reduced as well, so we are going to put in for another hour. Another hour go by. I'm going to turn off the oven. And this is the pork. So as you can see from the mark, the sauce has been reduced dramatically, but we are not going to waste any of that. We are going to put that pork on the chopping board. Just so you know, I have two sides. That side is for raw, because I have a mark in here, and that is for cooked meat. And um, I chose that because it has a channel here, so you will catch the juice. And we are going to rest that. I'm going to sort out the sauce and cook some vegetables. The pork is now on the chopping board. And I'm going to just very gently get the flavour out of the container. Use a wooden spoon. Because all those burn marks, they, they're not really burnt, they just flavours. So just very gently tip it, tip it with the juice and rub that in a circular motion you can see that sort of that line has already gone so i'm going to just continue doing that until most of it is coming off it will be with the juice so that will be our gravy clean to the side with a wooden spoon as you can see it's mostly clean just to get the flavor in and the pork is still resting Now I'm going to drain the sauce in here. Darling, would you just hold that handle a tiny bit like that? Thank you. I'll rest that for about 30 minutes. So now we are going to carve it. First of all, take off all the butcher's twine.
can see a lot of juice coming out. I actually have cleaned up some of the juice. Uh -oh, and just to make clear, this is uh, crispy. It is crispy. Traditionally, Chinese pork not supposed to be crispy, but <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it in a sort of Chinese slash English way. Anglo Chinese, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm using a bony knife. As you can see, it's very sharp. Like not that. a sponsored video, but this is an awesome knife. From Vostov. Sorry, I interrupted you. Carry on. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, or whatever sharp knife you have, just to carefully carve. Emph skin. Emphasis on the carefully because this is quite sharp. Well, shall I do it this way? It's close to the skin as possible. So beautiful. So now the skin is off. As you can see, I cut it as closely as possible. Some of it um, was a bit of fat, which I will clean up later. Very easy to just clean up. But when you have a sharp knife like that, it's just quite easy. Okay. Set that aside. Now, I want to deal with how we're going to carve it. Can you see the grain here? So that's how the grain looks. Let's just cut more fat off so you can see easily. So the grain is this way. However, on the other side is that way. Yeah? So we are going to cut against the grain. So if the grain is this way, we cut it against it. So that's how the meat is the tenderest. Okay? Supposedly, I will put my hands like that, but for the sake of filming, I'm going to put my hand far away so you can see what I'm cutting. A sharp knife will do the work for you. That's the first piece. Actually, let me just turn the meat around. to see how juicy that is. Okay, so that's the first piece. I'm going to place it on top of a plate. And I'm going to continue cutting it very thinly. I may not cut all of it if we are not going to consume all of it tonight it's important you don't cut more than you need so the pork would retain the juice you see how juicy that is I mean it's been rested I don't know if we said that earlier but obviously it's been rested in between cooking
if you see the different color here that's not because it's not cooked it's from the soy sauce and different ingredients that just discolorated the meat a little bit keep falling off which is okay because naturally as I said there's two different grain so and that's all I'm going to cut for tonight I think that's all we're going to consume and um, I'm going to cut actually no first of all I'm going to just very quickly clean the fat the meat that's why the bony knife works so you can just do that very easily if you don't have it don't worry just use whatever knife you have as as long as you have a, a sharp edge Just keep your fingers away from the knife. Yeah. But also remember that eating fat isn't what makes you fat. Fat doesn't make you fat, that's a fallacy. Uh, we are not going to discard that at all. We are going to use every bit of the pork. Um, we save some of the pork fat for cooking noodles. So, particularly now, there's a cooking oil shortage. You know, every bit of fat counts. So that's as much as I would clean. You can do a bit more if you are very particular with fat, but that's good enough. Just going to simply use a scissors. tell how crisp that is from the sound lay like that beautifully and we are going to serve that with some vegetables and the juice we say from earlier so we are going to plate that up a couple of pieces pieces some vegetables on the side you can do some rice baked potato or whatever you like Again, you can thicken the gravy with some flour or corn starch, but um, we're just going to have as it is for tonight.